Greetings friends, I'm Eurogamers Ian Higton and today I'm checking out the 20th anniversary edition of Duke Nukem 3D. Now this 20th anniversary edition has just been released today and featured in the game is a brand new episode called Alien World Order that has been designed by some of the uh, original creators of Duke Nukem 3D's levels. So we're going to load that up now. And uh, we're going to check out that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven chapters to this new episode. And I'm going to start off with the High Times level, which uh, I've been reliably informed is set in Amsterdam. Nice. Uh, let's rock. Let's rock. I'm getting too old for this shit. You and me both, baby. You and me both. So here we go. This is uh, Duke Nukem 3D 20th anniversary. And uh, there's a few things I should point out before we start playing through this level and seeing what it's like. First up, um, let's go to the options and quickly show you the video settings. So we have this thing in this game now called True 3D Rendering, which uh, supposedly makes the levels look a lot nicer. Uh, if I disable it quickly, we can go back and we can see how the level would look originally. It's that kind of like weird, 2D sprite, like flat sprites uh, textures that are stretched, kind of gives you a bit of a weird feeling in your gut when you look up at the sky there. That's how the game ran originally, but Gearbox have added this true 3D rendering uh, tech to make things look uh, just a little bit more, uh, a little bit more solid, a little bit more realistic. Um, there's also in the options. The uh, the ability to where is it? God damn it! There it is. <laughs> There's also the ability to put on developer commentary if you want and show level stats. I'm not going to put on the developer commentary, but you could play through the game with develop, uh, developer commentary on if you like. So this yeah this level is set in Amsterdam, so expect plenty of uh, immature red light district gags and uh, lots of weed smoking jokes I expect. Little green man coffee shop there. Uh, we should head over to that maybe in a minute. Seems like the standard enemies. There we go. Red lights. Can I... Shake it baby. Shake it baby. She didn't shake it. Well there we go. I got an achievement for shaking it baby. Tip an exotic dancer. No cash coming out there. Ooh. There's a blue key card there. Lovely stuff. Where is it? There we go. Classic Duke Nukem's. So another thing you can do in Duke Nukem 20th Anniversary Edition is activate some... Oh, look at that lovely canal. You can activate some... What the? Oh, you can turn that true 3D off just by pressing down on the D-pad. That's interesting. So you can really see the... If I just go, as you can really see, the difference the true 3D makes. That's it off, and that's it on. It just uh, gives the perspective, makes the perspective look a little bit more real. So right, another thing you can do on this, uh, in the 20th anniversary edition, is activate a cheat mode on the consoles. You can do it on the PC as well. It's, pretty, it's easier on the PC than on consoles. On the consoles, you have to type in Duke using your keypad um, and to do that you have to press down on the d-pad uh, the use button the kick button and then east on the d-pad and that brings up the cheat menu you see what it spells out duke uh, it brings up the cheat menu here and you've got god mode give all all weapons all inventory all keys show map show fps level selector and you've got no clip as well so uh, you can uh, you can use the cheat menu in duke nukem if you want Let's have a look in the gri uh, the little green man coffee shop. We got some alien smoking doobs. I don't know what doobs are. No idea. Um, little green man coffee shop. A nice bong there. I don't know what a bong is. Um, no idea. What is this here? It's a lovely little light. Oh, I've got my true 3D turned off. There we go. Arena 420. Classic. Classic juke gags. Okay, killed that alien. Let's check out, can we read what's on the menu? Dutch dust, space dust, pre-rolled, pie in the sky. Alright, 
got some ammo for the pistol. Could do with some extra weaponry, actually. Ow! Oh, I died. God damn it. Great start. So, like uh, the old school Duke Nukem on the uh, Xbox 360, you have the opportunity to rewind time slightly and reload a save state. Well, not reload a save state, just continue on from a moment before you got violently murdered. There we go, he's dead. Oh, it's a grow room. Smoking! Take that, you fools. Could do with some ammo. Maybe I'll do the... I've got ammo for shotgun, but no shotgun. Maybe I'll do the cheat for all weapons. Do, do, do. I get the health, though. Ooh, health. What's in here? Right, yellow keycard. Nice. A fan? Can I kick that fan? Some of these, some of these things you might be able to kick over. Find a hidden passage behind. Not that one, though. Ah! Uh, like, not there. And not there, either. Okay, so... Perhaps no hidden passages down these pipes. Take that, you alien scum. No. No secrets. Meh. Alright, let's go and check out the toilets. There's got to be some... No. Can't go in the toilets. Ow, ow! What the? Where did you come from? Oh. Right, fine. I'm doing the cheat mode. Duke! All weapons. Okay, here we go. Whoop. Cheating. I got an achievement for cheating. That's nice. Oh, god damn it. Oh. I'm getting too old for this shit. Well, damn it. <laughs> Accidentally skipped. Back to the beginning. Alright, at least we know what we're doing now. Do I still have all weapons? I don't still have all weapons. So I'll try and be a bit more sparing with my ammo this time. So when we go to... where was it? We needed to go to the coffee shop. Take that, you alien scum. That's what you get for shooting up my ride. Arr, arr. I presume there'll be lots of... there'll be plenty of hidden areas, just like other Duke games. If I, if I was to fire rockets at walls and things, normally you find nice secrets lying around. Right, he's dead. I'm concentrating now. Take that alien scum. Oh, what's this up here? Oh, that's cool. Let's get rid of these chumps. Oh, I've got four health. Did I not pick up a health then? Right, let's have a look at the uh, this amazing foosball table. Can I kill them? No. That's a cool foosball table, though. I like that. I like that. We've got a pool table as well. Uh, hopefully you can interact with the balls. You could do in other Duke Nukem games, if I can hit them properly. Oh, no. oh there we go. Yeah. Sweet. Duke Nukem. Uh, Alright, my health is pretty low. How do I use... There we go. It was a special health kit. You keep in your inventory that I picked up. Take that. Oh, you dirty pig. Ugh. Out of ammo again. Got yours. Right, so I killed them. Got the health. I did need that. Got the key card. Let's do a runner. Oh no. What is up with the lack of ammo on this level? That is one crazy weed smoking alien statue. Alright, let's unlock here. A private smoke room. Oh, dear God. 
one health. Oh no. Ah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I need to find some health and I need to find some ammo. What's that there if I press that? Whoa. Ooh, that's whoa. Some good coffee. <laughs> that's some good uh, coffee. I never inhaled. Nice. Classic Bill Clinton line there. Courtyard? It's got a... Oh. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ, everyone's gone druggy. Why would you... Why would this happen when I have no ammo? Oh, that's bad. Uh... Anything in here? Right, what do we got? It's that weird face again. Uh. Oh, nice. Chain gun. Excellent chain gunning. Here we go. This is what this is more like it. Something that's not a crappy pistol. Shotguns, chain guns. Now, now we're talking. Now we're duking. What is this? Sp Ow! Acid for. Oh, oh God. Duke is definitely tripping balls right now. More achievements. Buzz off. I hope he doesn't eat the brown licorice as well. Nice. Holy cow. Oh, what's this in here? Oh, I knew that would happen. So yeah, this is my first time trying out this new episode. My first time playing Duke Nukem since it released on the Xbox 360. So it's been a while since I've been back in Duke land. But it feels... Actually, no. Ow, whoops. Do you know the last time I played it was actually on the PSP version, Duke Nukem Megaton Edition. How did I open that door? Let's go, so we've got a chain gun cannon. What happens if I press that? Oh, so we've opened up some super health on the other side. Somewhere. No? Ah. There it is. Down, exit. Ooh. Oh, of course, I'm back in the shop again now. That's normally the end. Is that the end of the level? Okay, that's the end of the level. All right, sweet. So I have a feeling there's plenty more I could have seen on that level. But, um, you know, I got to the end. Only about 15 deaths. So, uh, yeah, uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, the true 3D stuff's good fun. Uh, makes things a little bit easier on the eyes. It's still got that stupid Duke Nukem humour um, and all the crazy kind of easter eggs and secrets you want to find. Having a cheat mode's pretty cool. I don't know if the cheat mode was ever available on previous console versions. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but um, I think that was the first time. I've never used cheat mode on the consoles anyway. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Let's Plays on Eurogamer. Insert Duke Nukem quote here. Goodbye. <laughs>